Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza. Where is your Let's Play 2? We're starting a new series today. This is The Sims 4, and this is my Socialism Challenge. If you haven't seen the trailer, you may want to check out the video description for the rules, but essentially what we're doing is we're taking these eight related Sims, who, and we're going to try to get to the top of all eight career tracks as fast as possible, and I'm basically keeping a score where the uh, my score is going to be the number of Sim days that it takes me to get there. This is day one one and every episode we do will be one day at a time all right so we're getting started and i'm not going to introduce you to each of the characters as they were introduced in the uh trailer but we the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get everybody to learn a little bit of cooking that should always be your first step when you and the first thing debbie does is she watches the cooking channel so already debbie is our uh <laughs> Is going to be our one who is going to know the most about what's going on. Uh -huh. Always have your Sims know cooking when you get started. So I'm going to try to have every Sim learn a little bit of cooking. And then they will also get to know each other a bit. And then we'll deal with our... Okay, Amy. Start. I mean, Angel. This is going to be a bit of chaos. So, I want everybody to know a little bit of cooking... But I believe our okay. resident uh -huh. chef is going to be huh. Debbie, who is our blonde lady here uh -huh. in blue. She has the foodie trait, one of the random traits I rolled for her. So uh, she will likely be the chef for the household. But you want everybody to know cooking so nobody burns down the house immediately, which is useful, especially since... Wow, you guys are talking a lot. I'm going to have to change the volume levels. Anyway, um... But yeah, you want everybody to know a little bit of cooking, that way nobody burns down the house as soon as someone wants to make some macaroni and cheese. And this isn't probably the best use of everybody's time, especially if we make a real-life equivalent. It's not good to have the entire household placated by a single television in the middle of the living room. But so it goes. Right now everybody is jobless, but once... We get everybody knowing some cooking, uh, we're going to go ahead and start working toward other things. Amy just gained the comedy skill. Excellent. Look how fast, uh, Debbie is learning cooking, too. And everyone's making friends, which is good, because in The Sims 4, some jobs require The Sim to have a certain number of personal friends to get promoted and the f the household counts so hopefully everyone can be friends with everybody which will help relieve some of the burden when it comes to later promotions so Debbie is almost at cooking level 2 and the others are sort of doing other things which is fine I don't mind the others breaking off but uh because Debbie has the foodie trait I think she's that's got to be why she's gaining it faster. By the way, for more tips on The Sims 4, you can visit IGN Entertainment. I wrote the strategy guide for that. It's a wiki, so anyone can join in as well and write. Um, so just uh, head over there. Link is in the video description. All right, so Debbie has reached cooking level 2. Excellent. And so I'm going to have her cook something for the family. We're going to do some fish tacos. Now, in The Sims 4... If you click serve lunch, it makes four servings. Since we have eight sims here, we're going to have to do all of our servings from the cook menu because then we can make party size, which is family size for us. And while she does that, we're going to have everybody else start their uh, process of getting employed. So Debbie here is going to be our uh, culinary. Where are you going, Amy? Amy? Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want. I don't care. I didn't build an outside trash can for them. So, yeah, this series is just going to show the family get through their, uh... Huh. Yeah, we'll give them an... Uh, whatever. It works. Um, this series is going to show the family's journey as they start off unemployed, but hopefully get not only employed, but hit the top of all eight career tracks quickly so we're gonna let's see we're okay so i haven't determined ahead of time what careers everyone's gonna take but their random traits will help lend each sim toward certain um certain 
job tracks. Like, for example, Logan Runner here is a genius, which means most of his are going to be focused, logic, or tech-based. So I'm going to have him join the... Oh, I forgot. I can multitask now. He could have called in without... Whatever. Anyway, he's going to do the tech guru uh, tech guru career track. And according to the rules of my challenge, it doesn't matter which track they or which branch they pick eventually. So he'll be the tech guru, but he can also he'll he can wind up being an esport gamer or a startup entrepreneur. Now I haven't done full research on all of the different <clears throat> excuse me. I haven't done full research on all of the different branches that you can do in a career. So part of the reason I'm doing this challenge is to actually make my strategy guide more uh, informative because I'm going to make charts and graphs for all of this crap. But um, so like I've taken someone all the way up from the eSport gamer. So I know the information for that. So I'm going to have uh, Logan here wind up being a startup entrepreneur just so I can get the information there. But for some of it, I can cheat a little bit. Like for the culinary track, which is what we're going to have Debbie do, uh, my usual broadcast partner, the Akamura, has taken her sim up the mixologist career branch. And it turns out mixologists need a crap ton of friends. Because we have eight sims and none of them are outgoing, it'll be hard to make that many friends. So for Debbie, she's going to be a chef. But for Logan, we are picking tech guru. And I have myself a handy dandy notebook here. So I'm writing all this crap down so I actually keep track of of it all okay joseph hill is our number two he has the evil trait so as racist as this is going to make me we're going to put him on the criminal career tra wait he's a genius too yeah we'll put him on the criminal career track i think uh i think that'll be most fitting for his traits again that's oh wait a minute eh yeah like I said, it may seem racist, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'm playing to the traits, not playing to anything else. All right, Kichiro Kato is our number three, and he is childish, lazy, and an art lover, so we're going to give him the painter career, assuming he decides he wants to actually pull out his phone and frickin' do it. Come on, buddy. You're holding up the line here. Painter career. Check. Maybe one day I'll take a picture of this chart and put it in the video. It's ridiculous. It tells you I'm way overly serious about The Sims sometimes. All right, our number four is David Mendoza. He hates children, he's active, and he's clumsy. So, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, wait, let's, uh, let's bang out Debbie's first, now that she's done cooking. Since we know what she's going to do. Okay, come on, Debbie. Let's go. All right. So she'll take the culinary. Okay, that leaves four career tracks. Amy Shu is a goofball. And I haven't done the creative track yet. So I'm going to have her do... Wow. That was a bunch of incorrect words I just spoke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me try that again. Amy Shu has the goofball trait, which I'm not used to. So there's an entertainer track where she can be a comedian, and I think goofball helps the comedian track. Uh, or comedy skill, rather. So we're going to have her take entertainer. I'm going to write that down here. All right, that leaves three. Let's see, geek, snob. Oh, Rosa Reyes is a geek, so that should help us do the astronaut career. So she can take astronaut. And the astronaut career is fairly challenging to me, so she's going to be a little tough to work with. That leaves David Mendoza and Angel Scott. So let's use David and pull up the career list because now I've forgotten what the other two are. One of them is secret agent. And I for, uh, oh, writer. The other one's writer. 
Let's see. David and Angel are both active. But David is clumsy, and Angel is a snob and an art lover. So we'll make Angel the writer, which would make David the secret agent. Okay, and Angel. Alright, so I've got everybody's careers set. At least on my paper. There we go. Writer. All right, so each of the eight Sims has a different career track that they are going to work on. Awesome. All right, so now that that's done, everybody's, I think almost everybody's going to go to work in one day. Most of them are, other than Logan, whose work week doesn't start for a couple days. All right, so now, The Sims 4 changed a few things when it comes to the job performance. Yes, thank you. Um, in The Sims 4, if you mouse over the job performance meter, it shows the ideal mood and the daily tasks you're supposed to do to make the uh, job performance meter grow and increase the chance of getting promoted. For a lot of these Sims, we can't do it. Um, like, for example, Logan here, he needs to use a computer. We don't have a computer in the house. Whoa. Nice job, David. Um, so, it doesn't really matter for him. But part of our daily routine, as the player, is we're going to be cycling through all eight sims and trying to figure out what they can do to get into the best moods to get promoted as fast as possible. So we're going to try to buy some video games for Logan eventually, or just get a computer eventually. We'll need one anyway. But for now, he's just going to have to deal, and he probably won't get promoted all that fast compared to the others who are in the family. But... <laughs> Uh, Joseph here needs the mischief skill, which is easy to pull off because all he has to do is argue and bitch and moan it with some of his uh, roommates here. Let's see. Kato needs the painting skill and needs to view or admire three different works of art. Okay, David needs a computer as well. See, Debbie here is in the best shape. She only needs to clean dishes three times, and she needs to prepare some food. So she's going to go ahead, and she's going to cook again. Make some more, uh, make some BLTs. And then we can start working on her. I have a feeling Debbie is going to be the easiest one to promote all the way up to level 10, just because... Her, uh, her daily actions and stuff are easy to do even this early. She just needs to clean some dishes, and she just needs to cook. So we can do that. Angel needs to practice writing. We need a computer for that. Uh, okay. Amy needs comedy, and she needs to write jokes or practice music. She can write jokes on a computer. Again, we don't have it. We're going to need a ton of computers by the time we're done here. But she can reach level 2 charisma, and we can work on that if we have a mirror, which we don't right now. And Rosa just needs to successfully enthuse three sims about space. That's super easy, too. Alright, so since she's talking to Joseph anyway, enthuse about space. I'm glad that the sims 4... The, they increase the AI and how fast that the Sims decide to do another thing, which is great for a challenge like this, because I don't really have to worry about anything that my Sims do. They can just talk and be amongst themselves. It doesn't matter. Ah. Kichiro has arrived. Go ahead and discuss space with him, too. So, um... Anyway, so... It'll be a lot less difficult to make sure the Sims uh, survive and keep themselves alive and everything. But it'll be harder to corral them and get them focused on doing what I want them to do. Which is the challenge. You can see down here that of the eight Sims, there's, they have seven different emotions they're experiencing right now. So it will be difficult to get all the Sims to... Uh, correctly get corralled to do what I need them to do, but it'll happen. And therein lies the challenge. Alright, Debbie is going to clean up this dish. I don't know who left it, but I don't care. 
because uh, stop arguing with Rosa, Joseph. But yes, if Debbie cleans up after everybody. Oh, she just found a second dish. I wonder if that counts as two or it, oh, yep, it must have. Click on dirty dishes and select. Yeah, good, awesome. So she's already halfway to getting promoted. Now she just has to keep preparing food. And it'll be good for her to prepare food anyway for the for the family because they're going to need to eat. And we can shove all this stuff in the fridge and I'll help them out like that. So as long as we're basically going to use Debbie constantly throughout the day doing nothing but cooking. And all that's going to do is it's going to increase the amount of food in the fridge and our Sims won't get hungry at all. In theory, and everyone should be fine. Nobody in the family has the insane trait, which kind of makes me sad as for my broadcaster perspective, because it would be fun to see some of these guys completely lose their minds. Also, all eight beds you see here are identical, and I'm going to basically let them choose their own beds. I don't really care where they sleep. I'm sure half the guys are going to want to sleep next to Rosa as much as possible. <laughs> All right, so it seems like we're pretty well, uh, we're, we're, we're doing okay here. I don't want to buy a mirror for uh, whoever that was. Who was it? Who needed the mirror? I'm already confusing myself. Amy. Amy needs the mirror, but I can't really afford it. Ah, oh, hell. There's probably a cheap mirror, isn't there? Mirror. And cheapest mirror is 40 bucks. That works. And next is 50. I'd rather have the 50 so I can match the d decor because I... Well, I like matching the decor. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Oops. Okay, Amy, start practicing speech. So I can't really do much with six of the Sims to get them promoted, but I can do something for two, so we may as well keep that up. And mousing over the uh, career performance, or the job performance bar is usually the best way to keep everybody on task. 50% done on prepare food, so keep on cooking, Debbie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep making you cook. But you're already up to what, cooking three? Are you up to cooking three? Jeez, you're halfway up to cooking four. <laughs> You've only been alive for 12 hours, and you're already up to cooking three. That's amazing. Keep it up. Debbie might be our MVP. If you saw my Sims 3 Socialism Challenge, you saw that some of the eight Sims started life off pretty well, and you could, all, you could tell that they were going to be really good for the team and for the goal. And you also knew that some, like Jennifer, couldn't do crap and constantly brought everybody down, which was annoying, but fun to watch. So I think already we can see that Debbie is going to be our MVP, although I'm not sure who's going to be our <laughs> pain in the butt, although it'll probably be Joseph. All right, you need one more food? Nope, you're done. Prepare food complete. Awesome. And Amy is about to hit level two charisma. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I don't know why Debbie's napping. She may as well just go to bed if she's tired. In The Sims 4, your Sims are now smart enough to know when to sleep. So, like, they won't... Because in, in Sims 3, Sims 2, and Sims 1, when they were on free will, they would go to sleep when their energy meters were low. Now they go to sleep... They, they try to go to sleep when their energy meters are low, but they will prefer going to sleep when they need to in order to uh, to match their working hours. See, Debbie wants to nap, and the reason she wants to nap, even though it's 10 p.m., is because her workday starts at 4. So she doesn't want to go fully to sleep until, say, about midnight, because then she will be able to... Uh, She'll be able to sleep her eight hours and be up in time. Right? Wait, I said midnight. Probably it'd be closer to four in the morning. Because then by the time she wakes up, she'll have enough time to get ready for work without being awake for tons of hours. Why is the charisma skill not popping? Do you need more friends? Is that your problem? Yeah, that should definitely have popped by now. Oh, there it goes. All right, so now Amy is cooking, or charisma two. Kichiro is cooking too. Everybody's in pretty good shape. So we're 
So two of our sims are pretty much ready to go. All they have to do is uh, keep doing what they're doing. And since there's no more burglaries in the Sim series, I don't have to worry about people coming in and stealing our crap. So we're pretty good to go here. And we are coming to the end of day one. So thanks for watching, guys. There it is. Day one is complete. Everybody's on track, and I haven't had any serious problems yet. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's I know how to play the Sims efficiently. So thanks for watching. Join me tomorrow for day two when half the family will actually have their first day of work. And we're going to keep trying to get these Sims on task. So far, so good. We'll see you tomorrow.